good morning students so in this class we are going to discuss about limitations of dimensional analysis so there is no information about dimensional constants like 1 to pi and e so from this dimensional analysis there is no information about dimensional less constant then it cannot decide whether the quantity is scalar or vector so using dimensional analysis we can't specifically say it is a scalar it is a vector then it is a limitation then third one so it is not suitable to derive the relations involving trigonometric exponential and logarithmic functions so we can't derive using dimensional analysis so it is not suitable to derive the relations involving trigonometric functions exponential functions and logarithmic functions then it cannot be applied to an equation involving more than three physical quantities if an equation involving more than three physical quantities means we can't apply the dimensional analysis then it can only check whether the relation is dimensionally correct or not but not the correctness of the relation so for example the third equation of motion that is yes the second equation of motion s equal to ut plus half a t square then another equation s equal to ut plus half instead of half we are putting 1 by 3 a t square so both are dimensionally correct but the first one half a t square is a correct correct equation second one 1 by 3 a t square is wrong so it can only check whether the relation is dimensionally correct but it it won't say it is the correctness of the relation so we can't say this one is exactly correct using dimensional analysis so repeatedly they are asking in three marks what are the limitations of dimensional analysis so first one there is no information about dimensional constants it cannot decide whether the quantity is scalar or vector using the dimensional analysis so it is not suitable to derive the relations involving trigonometric exponential and logarithmic functions then fourth one <coughs> it cannot apply to an equation involving more than three physical quantities for, for example mass length and time so extra one quantity is added in an equation we can't apply using the dimensional analysis so final one you can only check the relation is dimensionally correct or not but not the correctness so which one is correct equation exact equation so okay students